coach, you guys' first day for spring ball, and you got ten new faces that you're working in. First of all, what is it the process like as far as acclimating those faces to what you want to expect from your program? Well, you know, the first step of uh, getting them into the program and getting getting them to feel comfortable starting the fall, obviously. Uh, but for now, what we're trying to do this these first few practices, and in particular the first week, is just to review and make sure that they understand everything that uh, we put into place in the fall. And then once that happens, and obviously we'll put in the other parts of the uh, of our system. But uh, for the first week or so, we're just going to review everything that uh, we covered with them in the fall, make sure they understand, and more importantly, making sure that they can execute it. Generally, what is your experience when you have a, a lot of new faces and, and getting them on the same page? What's the toughest obstacle? That, that you know they what, the, the toughest obstacle to, to, do, to do that is to get all the players uh, to buy in um, and to have good synergy with one another. Obviously, when you, when, when you bring in good character players uh, that are good players, good people from uh, good families, it's, it's a lot easier. Uh, and I think we've, uh, we've done that. We've got a bunch of uh, good leaders coming back in Cole Lancar, Corey, you know, Corey Davis, Victor Garcia, Jacob Huckabee. And we got a bunch of new guys that are also have fit in very, very well. So uh, this is going to be a good group. They're at least going to get along. They're going to play hard. Who are some of these new guys that, that you at least have expectations for at this point? Well, you know, on the mound, we started off with uh, with a couple of right-handed pitchers. We've got Andrew Garcia. He's a junior college transfer from Arizona. Um, Eddie Delgado is also a junior college transfer. He's from Broward County. And then with the young guys, we've got some uh, some younger players uh, that we feel down down in the future are going to be good players for us. Obviously, Isaac Gonzalez is only a sophomore. We've got uh, Eddie Pena from right here in Mission. Uh, we got Luis Acosta, uh, Pablo Ortiz from Laredo. So we've got a good mix of, uh, you know, junior college players that can be good leaders and have, have meshed in well with the returning players. And obviously with the freshman players, um, we put them in with a junior or senior that understands our culture, understands what we're trying to do, so it makes it easier for them to adapt. What were your thoughts about and just evaluating this first day of practice? A lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm, but that's typical the first day. Uh, what our players, what we preach to them is they need to understand that uh, the way that you practice, quality practices, give you, an op give you the opportunity to play for a championship. So, uh, whether it's the first day, which obviously everybody's going to be excited to get out, but it has to be this way a month from now, two months from now, and even late in the year if we uh, aspire to be the best team we can.